and welcome to another uh, video of Don Weber Forest Recovery. I'm going to do a, a video on my log splitter today. And this is a picture of when we got home. My brother drove 138 miles each way to eastern Massachusetts to pick it up for me. So thank you, brother. Good morning. It's May 31st. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning, 51 degrees, and the wind is blowing. But I'm down here in the woods finishing up my last wood project for the year. I'm going to split up all these rounds. Those are the rounds I cut a couple weeks ago. A Sunday morning in the woods video. This is another Sunday morning in the woods video. So I want to show you how... Uh, I'll give you a little walk around with this uh, splitter. So right there, that tray, that's extremely helpful because you can split the wood and it doesn't fall on the ground because you need to re-split it. You don't just have to pick it up again. This is the best part of this splitter. That's why I got this one and spent extra money. Log, that's a log lift that lifts the wood up off the ground for me. Especially when they're bigger pieces. I, I can manage this size piece well enough, but um, a lot of times I, I uh, you know, I've got pieces of wood that weigh two, three hundred pounds, and that'll lift that up real, real easy. The splitter is called an American, American brand. Not just made in America, but American. That's the brand name. It, uh, it's got 11 horsepower Honda engine. This, this machine was built in 2004. I bought it used. I know it. I know at least two commercial tree guys owned it, so it was definitely well used, but it's got a Honda motor and it just pumps oil and a hydraulic cylinder and you know, these, these things really last. It's a commercial grade and uh, you know, that, that kind of stuff just lasts. So uh, I'm gonna stop this for now get it warmed up get the log lift loaded up and we'll be back with you when we're ready to go
good example of using the log lift, getting two pieces of wood at one time and using it as a tray. Me, notice me throwing small pieces of wood off to the side and make a little pile over there for kindling wood. So it's a little free byproduct of spilling wood is getting kindling wood out of it. Notice me doing the offset. Not splitting it right up the middle, doing the offset so that bottom piece is already split, ready to go to the pile. And it's out of my way so I can work on the rest of the wood. Look how handy that log lift is for a tray, holding those pieces, getting ready to split next. Just made two nice little pieces of kindling. So remember that this channel is a primary purpose is mental health recovery, although I practice it while I'm working in the woods. And one of the great things about running a wood splitter is you got to be thinking about what you're doing. you got your hand in between a 40-ton ram and that splitting wedge, and you get your hand in the wrong place, it's going to be a sad day. And I've pinched myself a few times, and I've really learned to be thinking about what I'm doing, where I put my hands at all times, and staying safe. I'm being, I have a very high sense of self-awareness. What am I doing? Where are my hands? So here's the little part of just using some fast forwarding, you, learning to use some editing skills, using my brain in a way I never have before. Another good, good part of recovery, using your brain. So now in this clip, I got my brother running the camera and he's goofing around. And I got my sister helping me run the splitter, getting wood on the splitter for me. So the main purpose of, of this segment of this video is having my sister keep wood on the splitter so that I can keep splitting wood faster. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use the machine to its full potential, or at least more full potential than when I was putting the wood on there by myself and my sister was running the camera. Now my brother's running the camera, my sister's keeping wood on the, on the splitter, getting it over there. I'm splitting wood while she's rolling those rounds, 
here comes some wood she's grabbing it throwing it to the pile i'm grabbing the next piece and i'm just trying to i'm trying to run that handle and keep splitting just as fast as i can trying to get that machine up to its full potential and that's something that i'm constantly learning about recovery to mental health is how do I reach my full potential and live the best life that I can. And getting people to help you on your journey is really, really important. And in this video, I got my sister helping me, I got my brother helping me, and I'm doing better than doing it by myself. There, I'm just finishing splitting up the wood, and she's already loading up the log lift so that we can just keep on splitting. Good thinking on her part. So this is my sister using the splitter for the very first time. She, put her, she kept her hand out of the way. She's finishing up the last log of the job. Very good job. Thank you, sister. So there it is. I got all that st that cherry stacked. I made another face cord, another third of a cord, and uh, another good morning in the woods. All right. Till next time. So a couple of things I, I really want to make clear about this video for, about recovery that uh, number one, if, if not for f my family and support, I, I would not be making the progress that I, that I have made in my life. And uh, the ability to use the resources around you is something I learned a long time ago. And uh, I really learned to use it, whether it was for going to school or uh, getting a job, whatever it was, I, uh, I've used support. And just like my splitter, I want my splitter to split as much wood as possible, use it to its full potential. That's something I'm always striving for in my own life, is how can I make more and more progress and do better and better at reaching my full potential so thank you and i hope you enjoyed this and learned something and get out there and make progress in your recovery